He's wearing chaps, assless chaps. <laughs> so, Fred, good morning. Morning. What are you doing? I'm rinsing them off. They're already soaking wet from the rain, but I still have to rinse their paws off because they're they're full of sand and yuck. So, is the weather nice? If you're a duck. If you're a duck, the weather's nice. Or a fish. Can you believe this shit for the third day? Raining. It was raining, raining, raining. I mean, this rain will not stop. Unbelievable. So, guys, a lot of people ask me how I do the computer work in the RV, and this is just a temporary setup until we get the big rig. Um, got a little inverter here, pure sign, 600 watt. Got a monitor, full size keyboard, full size computer, battery backup, battery backup. And this is my speaker system going into the computer solar charger and I get over here a buffalo router mounted on the wall and today I'm getting another device as a wireless access point well another addition I mounted to ALF on the wall next to the router Alpha Alpha, Alpha Maya Alpha Unos dos twice Alpha wait no, that's not how it goes is it? No. and we have our slide in obviously because just in case because it's been raining we don't want anything going into seals so it's a little bit tighter in here today and then we got another wet wrap down here. Just kind of como toast. What are you doing? I don't move, Bobo. We'll clean you up. It's still drizzling. What the frick? Damn. Look at all these lines on my RV. Gosh. It's rained for three days. Now the mosquitoes are out. Please, please dry up. It's still raining. Unbelievable. Golf cart didn't get that wet. Well, maybe it did. Not too bad though. Not bad. Had it all covered up pretty good for three days. That got wet, but this didn't get wet in there, hopefully. Nope. Cool. Leaves sticking to the side of the car. Well, that's about it. I'm gonna get Heather up. Get some coffee. I'm just gonna hopefully cook me, cook me some turkey bacon. Gotta get some propane. I'm running low on propane. Well, I'm just pointing to this guy smoking a cigarette. He's got a 45 on his side. It looks like a Glock. No, it looks like a revolver. He just sits there, chills out, you know. It's weird because he's with the owner, and the owner says no guns in the campground. Kind of funny, isn't it? I like the owner. He's cool though. Well. I was supposed to go and get my nails done today. Uh, however, my friend lives up here and I had asked her for some recommendations on some nail places and they're not so great up here, honestly. And I looked at it quite a bit of different reviews and things. None of them have come back good. So, as you guys know, I'm pretty good at doing my own thing. So I'm going to storage to get my nail stuff and I'm going to do my own nails and I'm going to do my own toes. Just because I'm in the RV doesn't mean I can't do my own stuff. So you're going to come with me and we're going to go to storage on this thankfully not so more rainy day. I need to sort all my freaking tools out. I love that wrench from, I, bought, I returned it from Sears in Gainesville, Florida. I went to, I mean Gainesville, Georgia. I went to Florida, picked it up, brought it all the way back to freaking Georgia, and I don't have the freaking socket. I mean the the ratchet. I told you he was mad. I bet you it's in in storage. I'm pretty sure it is in storage. But I don't want to uh, fuel his fire. Maybe I should check in here and make sure it's not in here. Why, why are you cleaning it out? Because I'm freaking aggravated with these fucking tools. You're aggravated? I go to grab a tool, it's not there. Grab a tool, it's not there. Grab a 10 millimeter wrench. I got two 11s and no 10s. Why? 10's the most common thing, because it gets lost all the time. Do you know why? I don't give a shit why, I just want to freaking record it. Do you know why? I don't care. Because you need storage, all your stuff's in storage. 
No, because those tools were always together in the RV. I never touched those tools. No? At all? Nope. Never? Never. Ever. What is that person doing? I have no clue. It's like tree cutting trees down. Spraying. Spraying for bugs? No, he's a tree cutter. Cutting trees down. Looks like he's spraying for bugs. Dun, 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 dun. Now we're chaps on. Why is he wearing chaps? He's gonna cut his leg off when he freaking has a tree. Goes in a tree. <laughs> he's wearing chaps! Assless chaps! <laughs> One of those days again, let me tell you. Okay, I'm charging this right here. Golf cart with a trickle charger, 2 amp. And then I've got the car charging with a speed charger. It's only 50%, 2 amp, 12 volt. Hooked it to the terminals here, so I'm double charging here. I'm charging the golf cart battery, I'm charging the car. Uh, and i got the extension cord going all the way to the RV back here. Into one of these fancy little outlets on the RV. Right there. Okay. So that's that. That's what I got going on. Okay. Um, hot water heater's going too. Hear it? And that's about it. I'm going to warm up the pizza. I got Heather screaming for me again. All I do is work, even though I'm not a. I work. Made like 40 calls today for the business. Didn't sell a call. So someone called and we still made money, but not much. But something. It was something. Joe's doing an outstanding job. He always watches my videos. Um, and that's it so see now it's saying 70 percent charged 75 so i don't know the car battery terminals i moved them and it's starting fine so i don't know what's going on they didn't look corroded at all so i don't know why what the deal was with that but i'm charging this got the whole setup going here as long as they're all topped off they're reading 13.4 and 13.0 how leak where in the kitchen somewhere we got a leak in the kitchen what are you talking about are you kidding me not another problem Water leak? Yep, a water leak. A big water leak. A big water leak. Where? Right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Did something leak, drip? No. I'll take that drawer out. We gotta take that drawer here. Hold this taping. Nice and steady. Yeah, I got the oven going. That's so. alright, it don't matter. I'm just... It's dry in there. Well, I don't know what's leaking. The hell's leaking? I it's just... from the fridge? Is the fridge leaking? I don't know. Is the carpet wet back there? Because I filled the water up. No. It's wet, wet in here. Something's leaking in here. It's just water. As hmm. far as I know. I just want to make sure it's not a pipe leaking. There's nothing leaking in here, so there's no sense of opening this. Can you make sure you put that back on? Yeah. I, I'll get it. Just leave it. All right, I need to get it on now. Get right it down. Way. It's further down. Okay. That's on here. That's not on right, but... Okay, whatever. this all this got to be taken out. Everything. Okay, well, I have to get off of this thing. Okay. So, See, I don't know what the... Out. See, it's over here. It's all the way down. Oh, Jesus. Turn off the hot water heater. Man, it's not the hot water heater. I got to figure it out. I know what the problem is. She buys too much damn food, and something's wrong with the food. There's too much food in the fridge. We can't even fill, fill the fridge. There's too much food. That's the problem. Hey, Fred, make sure when you fill the fridge... That the food is not touching the, all the back drains and stuff. Because that chunk of ice needs to come off there. Our new rig is going to have residential. Our new rig is going to have residential refrigerator. Relax. But we got to live it for 18 more days, okay? 18 more days, we got to survive. It's still leaking. Still leaking, I understand. But did you put it on gas? Yes. Because the gas ain't lighting. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Just put it on gas for me, please. You come over here and put it on gas. I got my stickers on. Take them off. Well, one good thing I do like about RV living is I can eat on my computer chair. But I guess that's going to change when we get the fifth wheel, right? Yes. Well, why don't you cook me a pizza or something, damn it? Oh, you are cooking me a pizza. I'm living the nomadic lifestyle, and I love it. Got gas. Got the fridge on gas. It lit. I don't know what the deal is with the leak. Uh, maybe it's on defrost mode. I don't know. I don't know. This is how full we keep the fridge, guys. I got all this ice growing up here. Look at all the ice. Oh, that's the problem, Fred. There's freaking a block, big block of ice down in here. And then with the fan, remember the fan trick I did? I'm going to move the fan over to the left. It's all you, not me. 
I right? Did everything else. And it'll fix that ice. Watch this. This is self defrosting. I did a video on this one time. If I can get the damn thing to go on. There you go. So I got to do that. It'll defrost that ice. Put the sugar over whatever the hell this is cane sugar. And then all that ice will be defrosted. See it leaking? Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I just don't know why it's leaking there. That's weird. I'm going to have to. I just don't want to pull the fridge out. I just want this thing to last. Please last until we get our fifth wheel. Huh. I'm going to have a piece of pizza. Keep the rag there. I'll let her run. Let her rip. Tater chip. Okay, I think I got the, fr fr the car fixed and the fridge, I think. Um, what I did is, uh, all I did is, I put a charger in the car and moved the terminals. I, and they weren't dirty, but I moved them and re-tightened them. They were tight before. I don't get it. But the car's starting faster. So I'm going to charge the battery and see it from there. And the bat in the refrigerator, there was a hose outside. And the hose, drain hose outside of the RV, was stuck and melted into the, uh, to the heat where the gas is. So I yanked it out of there. It wouldn't come out, but I yanked it out. And I put it through the vent, you know, to drain outside. So I think that was the problem. It's still leaking water, um, but I think that's like F leftover. I'm, I'm soaking it up and I'm trying to see what's going on. So I think I got them both fixed for free of charge, which is, um, right. it's kind of like a no brainer. Some things I know, I, I, I used to work on cars a lot with my dad. So I kind of fix a lot of stuff. I mean, pretty quick. I mean, common I'm sense is smart. if it's leaking water and not ammonia, you know, it's the drainage someplace. Just had to figure out where it was where it was coming in, and the car, they said it was a starter at Walmart. I'm like, hey man, Hondas just don't start weak. They either go or they don't. They they don't do that for months on end, you know. Um, so I moved the battery terminals seemed to work. There was like a glaze over the battery terminals. I don't. Maybe it was the stuff they put on it brand new. Okay. But oh, oh, what are you doing, Fred? I'm gonna make my soup. This is gonna be one long video. My throat hurts. So. Your throat hurts again now? It's been hurting. We'll say bye to our folks as we gotta go. Bye guys, cause I'm forever sick and I never get better. You know what to do, like us and share us. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.